Bryce, hi. Um, Hello. So uh, with uh, Merke, you've only been in Hong Kong for a very short time, from what I understand, only two months. Can you tell me um, what inspired you to open and, and start your startup here in Hong Kong as opposed to um, in France where your co-founders are based? Okay, so I've been here for nine months and opened the company two months ago. Uh -huh. And um, I, I chose Hong Kong because uh, from all the cities I visited before, uh, it's really as a strategic position in Asia. And from here, I can reach uh, half of the world population in five, five hours mm -hmm. with a flight. So I can reach India, China, Japan, Singapore, uh, Malaysia, Indonesia. Mm -hmm. and it's, uh, it's really as a strategic position. I see. And um, so with uh, Mercure, you're connecting um, experts and in different fields with startups. What are some of the um, challenges you've, you faced, or if you faced any, of getting people interested to help startups? Or, you know, uh, are there some challenges in this respect? You mean to, to find people willing to help startups? Yes. I think people are really willing to help startups because uh, they really would like to work with the next big thing, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's an inve investment to work with startup when they don't have that much money uh, at the start. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, when they grow, it can be very good customers for them. I see, I see. And um, what insp can you tell me a little bit about the inspiration and the story be behind Mercur and this name? Like, oh. uh, yes, so beyond the name Mercury, it comes from Mercury, the Roman god uh -huh. uh, from ancient time. And he was the god of uh, travelers and businessmen. So that, that's why we show, we show this, this name. And uh, the story beyond why this company now is because uh, I and my two co-founders, we created another project three years ago mm -hmm. and traveled the world in more than 30 countries to make video interviews with entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. So we built this huge, huge network before, so uh, it's, it's faster now for us to build the company. Also, oh, you, you, you've always had the dream of uh, starting up this company even before you started traveling. Is that was your, always your end goal? Um, it came during the travel. Um, um, we were always talking uh, in the university of uh, what kind of company we could build and mm -hmm. what we should do after the graduation. Um, it naturally came to this company. I see. So what kind of opportunities at your university were there to, to inspire you to, to, to build your own thing? Because at HKU, you know, this is, the, this is what we're talking about today, Dreamcatchers is inspiring the students in today's, uh, in today's world and universities everywhere to pursue that dream. Do you think that um, universities are doing enough these days to do that? I think they are improving. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, uh, to get to entrepreneurship is not really about uh, theoretical classes. It's more about uh, gathering some people together mm -hmm. uh, with different competencies and make them work on different projects. And uh, from, from that uh, group of people, come new ideas and new companies. Mm -hmm. um, I think um, university understands this better and better and it's really good for entrepreneurship. And especially in Hong Kong, uh, they are really focusing on this with a lot of government support. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think it's good. Okay. It's really improving. That's good to know. It's good for the uh, future generations of entrepreneurs like yourself. Thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you very me. much. Thanks so much.